Warning. Subterranean threat Chinese compound detected. Obstruction depth. Five meters. Opposition. Sand. Gravel. And communism. Tactical assessment. Reach compound to restore democracy. Warning. All personnel should move to minimum safe distance. Embrace democracy, or you will be eradicated. through the Advanced Systems Division. Only... you can't reach it. The security override can only come from the Director's Terminal. You'll need to access his quarters. Expect to see you again. Come to see the reactor, have you? We got it working without you. I'm sorry it's come to this, Sean. You're sorry? You can't be that sorry if you are here going through with it. It's not enough that I lay here dying. Now you plan on what? Destroying everything? Tell me then. Under what righteous pretense have you justified this atrocity? It's for the greater good. The Commonwealth deserves to determine its own fate. Spare me. You've spent time up there. You know as well as I that it's doomed. Well, none of it matters now, I suppose. You'll accomplish your task and ruin humanity's best hope for the future. The only question left, then, is why you're standing here. Is it regret? Or did you just come to gloat? Sean, if you help me, fewer people will die. Will you? Why would I ever consider helping you? Help me. And I promise I'll protect any survivors to the best of my ability. Very well. The terminal behind me. Enter access code 9003. That will disable some of the synths. Now go. Just... leave me. Well done, Paladin. Looks like a path should be clear to the reactor. And I am happy to report that reinforcements have arrived.
victory for the Brotherhood. Good work, Paladin. I think it's time to leave this place to its fate. Proctor Ingram, do you copy? Our mission Paladin is complete. Brandis, I need you to transport us out of here immediately. Add Victoria, Paladin. Dr. Ingram, it's time to teleport us out. Sorry, Elder, I would, but... I want to go with you! This child showed up. He claims to be the Paladin's... Why did you call me Dad? What? You're my father. Why else would I call you that? Who told you that I was your father? What do you mean? Nobody told me. You just are. I'm not your father. Whoever told you that was lying. But you are. Nobody told me, I just know it. Why would you say you're not? Don't you love me anymore? Please proceed to your assigned evacuation points. Thank you for your cooperation. I loved my son. My real son. You're not him. It's not fair to ask me that. What do you mean I'm not your son? You're just saying that so you can leave me here and not feel bad about it. I hate you! Attention all personnel. All right, Ingram. Fire it up. Hang on. You're telling me you leave that kid here to die? He's your son. Please proceed to your assignment. He's a sin, Ingram. He's not really my son. Are you kidding me? The Institute made synths that look like children? I don't even know what to say. Except that they deserve what's coming to them. You're clear to go then. Ready? Absolutely. Let's get out of here. You got it, Paladin. I'm sending you to the detonation site. I'll set the relay to send the last of us to the Pridwin and make sure everyone is out. When that reactor goes up, this place will be nothing but a smoking crater full of rubble. Should be quite a sight. Looks like your work here is done, Paladin. Dr. Ingram has assured you that we'll be outside the blast radius. Press that button. And you not only defeat our enemy, you restore order and decency to the Commonwealth. It's time, Paladin. The Institute and their synth abominations must be eradicated. over me. The heat, the force, the radiation, the fear. It's the end of the world all over again. I close my eyes. I see my life before all of this, before the bombs. Everything can change in an instant, and the future you plan for yourself shifts whether or not you're ready. At some point, it happens to all of us. This wasn't the world I wanted, but it was the one I found myself in. The Commonwealth. My home. Ripped apart and put back together. I thought, I hoped, I could find my family, cheat time, make us whole again. The way we were. Now I know. I know I can't go back. I know the world has changed. That the road ahead will be hard. This time, I'm ready. Because I know war. War never changes.
Elder Maxon. You've done an exemplary job here, Paladin. Without your unwavering loyalty to our cause, this victory would never have been possible. What? No cash prize? Your reward rests in the hearts and the minds of the people you've saved. The Institute has been wiped clean from the face of our world. It's time we close this chapter on the Commonwealth and begin one anew. And let's get to it. I'm pleased that you're anxious to continue your service for the Brotherhood. But this is neither the time nor the place to discuss it. Return to the Pridwin, and we'll decide what needs to be done. I'm too busy to speak right now. I'm pleased you've returned. Captain Kells and I wanted to speak with you. Captain Kells, as I expect Elder Maxon has already explained, the destruction of the Institute is simply the first stage of our operations in the Commonwealth. There are still super mutants and ferals to be dealt with, as well as any remaining synths that escaped the blast. It's our hope that you will continue serving with the Brotherhood and assist us with eradicating these threats. Of course, Captain. Very good, Paladin. In light of your service, Captain Kells and I both feel you deserve unique recognition for your contributions, both past and future. It's with great pleasure and the utmost respect that you are hereby granted the title of Sentinel. This is the highest honor a Brotherhood soldier can achieve, but we both felt strongly that it was well deserved. In addition, we'd like to present you with this jetpack modification for your power armor. The Brotherhood has few of these devices in its possession, but we feel you've earned the right to utilize one of them. Congratulations, Sentinel. It's an honor to be serving with you. Thank you, both. I'm really quite honored. The honor is ours. So, Sentinel, for the first time since we've met, I have no orders for you. From this moment forward, you will decide which missions you undertake and how you will guide us. Captain Kells and the personnel at the Cambridge Police Station still possess numerous operations for you to undertake. Where you go from here is up to you. Ad Victorium, Sentinel. Finalizing upload in four, three, two, one. Operation complete. Shutting down. Updated tactical assessment. Red Chinese presence detected. Aerial incursion by communist forces cannot succeed. Initiating directive 7395. Destroy all communists. Hello, Sean. Ah. There you are. I've already heard the news. But of course you wouldn't be here if it weren't a success. I'm glad it worked, but... I'm glad you're safe. We're all safe now. For now. Yes. But... There will always be threats. You must remain vigilant. Ali has always been loyal to the Institute and to me. 
You can rely on her for help. Once I'm gone, it's all up to you. Isn't there some other way? Another treatment that can help you? Nothing permanent, no. The inevitable could be delayed, but... at increasingly terrible cost, I simply decided... it wasn't worth it. Don't worry about me. You need to look ahead. Focus on the future. Our time together has been... strange, hasn't it? I spent years wondering what you were like. Thinking about all we missed out on. I want you to know that... I'm grateful for the time we've had. I don't know what to say. Shh. It's all right. Thank you. Father, you've helped a boy achieve his dreams. I think... I think I'd like to sleep now. I've lost Sean. All over again. I close my eyes, I see my life before all of this, before the bombs. Everything can change in an instant, and the future you plan for yourself shifts, whether or not you're ready. At some point, it happens to all of us. This wasn't the world I wanted, but it was the one I found myself in. The Commonwealth. My home, ripped apart and put back together. I thought, I hoped, I could find my family, cheat time, make us whole again. The way we were. But now I know. I know I can't go back. I know the world has changed. That the road ahead will be hard. This time, I'm ready. Because I know war. War never changes. Deacon. First things first. I picked up some brotherhood goodies for you. Merry Christmas. More importantly though, Tinker's ready for us on the bird. Let's go. in the Brotherhood's fall fashion line. It might help you to place those bombs and get back in one piece. Uh, and the Brotherhood's just gonna fall for that? The Brotherhood is nothing if not arrogant. They'd never dream in a million years that an ex-farmer and a scabber could fly one of their birds. So if we look, walk, and if worse comes to worse, talk like an asshole with a superiority complex, we'll be fine. And even if we don't, hey, if it only buys you a little time, that's better than nothing! When we land, Tinker's gonna keep the vertebrate spooled for an immediate takeoff. And my job is to be Tom's lookout and make sure any looky-loos keep walking.
Tom, we're getting closer to the blimp. Can you fly just a little straighter? Deacon, man, I'm trying. If you want to give it a whirl, I won't stop. No, 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 you're doing great, Tom. Just keep her a little more steady. Yeah, 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 I got you. Scabbard, this is Claymore requesting clearance. Claymore, you're cleared for launch bay three. Deck officer is requesting an update on the police station. Uh, hostiles eliminated. Scimitar status. Confirm. Scimitar took some fire. Uh, should be up and running in a few hours. We have a visual on you, Claymore. Your docking port's not open. Got some technical difficulties with the port and thingy. And they're off. Working on it. Huh? I made yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well, which button is, is it? Right uh, there? Claymore, you're clear for approach. that Brotherhood uniform on. Otherwise, it's going to be the shortest infiltration in history. Don't take too long in there. Anyone comes over here, I don't know if I can fool them. Good luck. I don't have time for you right now. How did it look out there? You came in on Claymore, here. right? Stop right there. Stop! Intruder! Right here!
us out of the airport. Wow. What a great idea. Body back in there. <laughs> We're out of the blast range now. Here goes nothing. Shit! Whoa. Now that's a hell of a thing. Rest easy, Glow. I thought... I thought by calling Red Glare I'd lose more good people. Comrades, thank you for keeping them, and yourself, safe. Is the church safe now? With the Pridwin destroyed, the Brotherhood survivors will leave the Commonwealth, on foot. But we're not out of the woods yet. If the Brotherhood managed to find us, you can bet your ass the SRB is not far behind. We've run out of time. Our next step is to attack the Institute. I have some things to do first. Understood. Just don't take too long. Let's get to that reactor. out of here. Tom! Tom, can you hear me? We're done down here. Pull us back up. Done, Tom. Let's get out of here while we can. I'm with you, boss. But just keep he says he's fixing something. I want to go with you. All right. You can come with me. Really? Do you mean it? What? You don't believe me? No, no, I totally do. What I mean is, thanks. Now let's get out of here. Hi there. I'm ready. Let's get out of here. I'm ready. Let's get out of here. I'm ready. Attention Let's get out of here. You worry about the reactor. I'll worry about making sure this thing works when it's time to go. All right, Tom. Fire it up. You got it. Oh, okay, you said right. Okay, we're ready to get out of here. Yes, absolutely. Let's get the hell out of here. Don't have to tell me twice. It's all set to take you and Dez to the detonation site. Then I'll rig it to send me and the kid here back to HQ right after. 
Don't worry, we'll look after him. Get him some better clothes, too. Yikes. Let's go before this whole place goes thermonuclear. All I'm ready. Let's get out of here. Authorization 1YR31. Please proceed to your assigned evacuation. wash over me. The heat, the force, the radiation, the fear. It's the end of the world all over again. I close my eyes. I see my life before all of this, before the bombs. Everything can change in an instant, and the future you plan for yourself shifts whether or not you're ready. At some point, it happens to all of us. This wasn't the world I wanted, but it was the one I found myself in. The Commonwealth. My home. Ripped apart and put back together. I thought, I hoped, I could find my family, cheat time, make us whole again. The way we were. Now I know. I know I can't go back. I know the world has changed. That the road ahead will be hard. This time, I'm ready. Because I know war. War never changes. Desdemona. And so the mighty have fallen. Dozens of years, countless sacrifices. It all paid off thanks to you. Deacon says this was his plan all along. With the Institute gone, what happens to the railroad? In days gone by, when us old timers waxed rhapsodic about life without the Institute, we recognized our work wouldn't end immediately. Hate runs deep in the Commonwealth, deeper than the soil. To them, synths are the living embodiment of the Institute's oppression. I'd understand if you want a much-needed vacation. But are you up for the next mission, Fixer? I was born ready. I'd expect nothing less. Our safe houses will be bursting with synths, seeking a better life outside the Commonwealth. Not everyone in the Institute died. We'd be foolish to think there won't be retaliation. Come back to the HQ and lead the last of our people to freedom. You. All of you. We've rescued enough of your people over the years. You don't have to say anything. We will protect them. Are we safe? Just because you're out of the Institute doesn't mean you're safe. Or the Railroad's job is over. There's a lot of work ahead of us. But together, We'll get there. I didn't expect to see you again. Come to see the reactor, have you? We got it working without you. What's happened to you? Are you sick? Oh, don't pretend to care now. You had your chance to help me, and cast me aside instead. It's not enough that I lay here dying. Now you plan on what? Destroying everything? Tell me then. Under what righteous pretense have you justified this atrocity?
It's for the greater good. The Commonwealth deserves to determine its own fate. Spare me. You've spent time up there. You know as well as I that it's doomed. Well, none of it matters now, I suppose. You'll accomplish your task and ruin humanity's best hope for the future. The only question left then is why you're standing here. Is it regret? Or did you just come to gloat? Sean, if you help me, fewer people will die. Will you? Why would I ever consider helping you? Help me, and I promise I'll protect any survivors to the best of my ability. Very well. The terminal behind me. Enter access code 9003. That will disable some of the synths. Now go. Just leave me. Sean. Just get out. There's... Got it. Attention all personnel. Evacuation order issued. Authorization 1YR31. Please proceed to your assigned evacuation point. Thank you for your cooperation. Alright! Good job! Looks like that's opened things up enough for you to reach the reactor. Some other good news. I've almost got the teleporter working. Should be ready to pull you out whenever you need. out of here. Yeah, I would, man. But, uh, this kid showed up. Says he's the general's son. Hi there. Please, Dad, don't leave me here. I want to go with you. Please proceed to your assigned evacuation points. Thank you for your cooperation. All right. You can come with me. Really? Do you mean it? Yes, I mean it. Now, let's get out of here. I'm glad you are here to save me. Let's get out of here. Attention all personnel. All right, Sturgis. Fire it up. Didn't leave anything behind, did you? All set to get out of here? Absolutely. Let's get the hell out of here. You got it. I'm gonna teleport you to the detonation site. Then set it to shoot the kid here back to the castle. Now you press that button extra hard when you get there. I'll see you on the other side. I'm ready. Let's get out of here.
figured this was a safe distance outside the blast radius. Whenever you want to see humanity's best hope for the future go up in smoke, just hit that button. I can feel it wash over me. The heat, the force, the radiation, the fear. It's the end of the world all over again. I close my eyes. I see my life before all of this, before the bombs. Everything can change in an instant, and the future you plan for yourself shifts whether or not you're ready. At some point, it happens to all of us. This wasn't the world I wanted, but it was the one I found myself in. The Commonwealth. My home. Ripped apart and put back together. I thought, I hoped, I could find my family, cheat time, make us whole again. The way we were. But now I know. I know I can't go back. I know the world has changed. That the road ahead will be hard. This time, I'm ready. Because I know war. War never changes. Holy shit, that was one hell of a bang, wasn't it? So that's it. The Institute is destroyed. It's finally over. You did issue the evacuation order, right? I didn't notice in all the chaos. Yeah, we gave everyone a chance to get out. Good, I thought so. It was just watching that explosion. I just hope as many people as possible got out. I hate that we had to do that, but they left us no choice. It was war. But now, the war against the Institute is over. The way is now clear for the Commonwealth to finally come together and build something good for the future. But it's not all sunshine and rainbows from here on out. The Institute wasn't the Commonwealth's only problem. We've still got plenty to do. I couldn't have said it better myself, General. The Institute was the most insidious threat we've ever faced. They kept the Commonwealth divided for centuries, but there are plenty of other problems left to deal with. I don't think the Minutemen are gonna be out of a job for a long time yet, as much as I might wish it. We deserve to enjoy our victory, but soon enough, it's gonna be time to get back to work.